this is the point when the spirit enters the body at 49 days. Now, there's, it, there's a lot more to this. This is what we're going to talk about. 49-day period. What happens at 49 days? Well, the pineal gland is formed, and it shoots off this DNT. Well, also at 49 days, our eyelids are finished forming, and we shut our eyes for the first time. Also at 49 days, we sexually diversify, which means that we start becoming either a boy or a girl. Now, 49 days, if we start looking back into some interesting cultures, and we'll notice that the Buddha, in, this, in the Buddhist mythologies, mm -hmm. sat below the Bodh tree mm -hmm. for 49 days mm -hmm. in many of the traditions, and then he received enlightenment. Mm -hmm. Also in Buddhism, we have what's called the bardo, or the intermediary state. There's a book out there that's called the Tibetan Book of the Dead. Mm -hmm. And what this book talks about is the intermediary state between when you die and you leave your body and you reincarnated into another body. This period is 49 days. Now, we've also, I'll also talked, I think last time, I think we got into this a little bit, but what's interesting is the Atnanodin Institute in Norway has talked about certain studies that were done in Finland, certain studies that were done in other places around the world, wherein they've shown that NDE, OBE, experiences mm -hmm. in a hospital setting mm -hmm. are brought about by high levels of DMT. Ooh, really now, all right, so they've done blood work and they've isolated this compound in the blood of people who have reported these experiences. Right. All right. And, according to the Atmanodin Institute, they also found that when people died, that the same thing happened. I mean, literally when they actually died. Okay. That when they died, the pineal gland floods the brain with DMT and sends you into a psychedelic state right as you die. Now, interestingly, if you die and you go into this psychedelic state, we're talking about a frequency. We're talking about a chemical that has a frequency. Mm -hmm. Now, we know multidimensionality is another frequency. You bet. We know that multidimensionality is the frequency of light that exists around us, but we can't see it, because our eyes are not meant to be able to see those realms. Mm -hmm. However, when you're on dimethyltryptamine, your pupils dilate, and you start to see things. Boy, they certainly do. I've seen people like that, and they... Total dilation. Right. What is it that you it's see? like owls. We're seeing other frequencies of life that are not naturally available. To us. All right, so as we drift off to the break here, DMT then might be a trigger mechanism to allow the so-called fading consciousness that we have to link up with the soul that is the all-important vehicle that continues on, and that DMT sort of makes a bridge between the two. James, is that fair? Wouldn't that be something? I, I'll vote for that. All right, <laughs> stand by, and we'll take a break and come right back with the uh, remarkable James Arthur. I'm Jeff Rentz. That's R E N S E. Thank you for being here. Uh, Rentz.com is the website. It's another hour to go, so don't go away. If you're online right now, go to the top of my homepage, R E N S E, Rentz.com, and look under guests on the left hand side. Look for James Arthur and look right below James Arthur's name and you'll see the word photos. That's where we want to go and load up. So let's click on that and I'll see if his uh, ISP can handle the load. James Arthur is uh, my guest. He is a wonderful researcher in a field that is, uh, I think, very important and is something that we just don't get to hear about often enough except when James is on the program. He studies mushrooms and their role in history and how they have impacted, affected, and actually changed and shaped the courses of many civilizations. Unfortunately, we didn't come out on the top end, at least not yet. Greed seems to have won out for the moment. James, uh, this hour we've got some pictures, and we're going to take a look at those. So go ahead and do your intro, and we'll go right to the photos. Okay. Well, as we were talking before the top of the hour, we're, we're looking at this 
49-day period right now where uh, ancient Buddhist tradition shows us that when a person dies and leaves their body, they come back into another body after, four, after 49 days. This is the reincarnation cycle. This is what the Tibetan Book of the Dead is written about. And this is what, what we're going to look at right now. And we also find that, uh, okay, the first picture up there. <laughs> okay, we got a, this is a friend of mine that did this uh, UFO flying saucer mushroom. That's pretty neat. You, you know what those things in the pasture are, don't you? <laughs> yeah. They're llamas. Yeah, llamas. Interesting, huh? Now, speaking of llamas, we have the Tibetan llama tradition, which talks about this 49-day period. And they, they talk about how you leave your body, you go through all of these experiences for 49 days. And, uh, of course, if you – I don't want to get way into this because it's, this can go on for hours and hours talk, just talking about this particular thing. But very basic, in a nutshell – if you're going to come back into another body, it takes 49 days, and that's when you come back into another body. So okay. now we now we're looking at this concept here, done by several people that when you die, your pineal gland floods you with DMT, and this is why you have these mystical MDE experiences, and this is why surprisingly these are the same type of experiences that people that have during their lives all the time. People have. Uh, encounter experiences, and all these things are usually quite similar. What can trigger the release or maybe a surge in that chemical in the body? Is there well, Are there ups and downs that the pineal goes through during life? Sure. Jet lag can cause it. Uh, light deprivation, illness can cause it because it's, it's another postulation that DMT is a very healing, healing uh, chemical. And so this is why when people get very ill, they have a hallucination-type experiences because of the triggered DMT that's sent into the body to heal it. Another One of the things that the Hoska experiment, which is headed by Dr. Dennis McKenna, who's another good friend of mine, and uh, they've been doing research on ayahuasca, which contains DMT. They talk about how it actually DMT, and Jace Calloway was involved in this too, DMT actually builds more synaptic receptors in your brain. Now, if anybody knows anything about the, how the brain works and the EEGs and the MRIs and these different machines that we have to look at the brain, the more lit up the brain is, the more thought process is going on. So we're pretty convinced that evolution-wise, the uh, more light you got happening in your head, the more synaptic activity the, the more consciousness, the more presence you have, the more advanced you are. Okay, now, so the number 49 is a real key number. That's a, We've heard numbers before, but this one is new to most of our listeners. 49 days. When we go down to the fourth picture, uh -huh. are you on? I am on. Okay, uh, we see the baby in the uh, amniotic fluid. Right. Now, notice how, what does that look like? Doesn't that look like a little gray alien? Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> well, isn't that strange? And that's so weird. This is at 49 days here. This is a 49-day shift. This is where we turn from being called an embryo into being called now a fetus. Now look at the, the lobes of the brain clearly visible. Mm -hmm. The think? lobes are clearly visible, and this, this baby's about to shed its eyes and get psychedelic here. That's from the DMT that floods the body and will during the whole time of its development from this point. Interesting enough, uh, if you look at the Planned Parenthood manuals, huh? they, t they talk about 49 days and how you don't want to have an abortion after 49 days. Why? They don't explain it. Have you asked them? No, I haven't. Might want to do that. Yeah, not at this point. I haven't yet. Because, like I said, this is so new, what we're talking about right now, Jeff, that nobody's heard it. Nobody. You're the first. And uh, this 49-day period here, when we go into this looking at what happens when a baby is born, the baby comes out psychedelic, and you see that the eyes are look all glassy and dilated, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. people go, oh, well, how cute. Well, Pretty cosmic like, time of life, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. And the most imprintable 
mm-hmm. it's like when you're when you take the mushrooms and you have the psychedelic experience, the the surroundings that you're in and what happens to you on it, that's mm-hmm. important. You are imprintable at that point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is why when you look into yourself and you see all these things about society and all the all the world's troubles and all that, and, you know, I mean, it, it has a massive effect upon you. So you want to be again in a very carefully chosen environment if you're going to be experimenting with these things because that of the means, imprint yeah. because of the imprintability that imprint vulnerability that you're in mm-hmm. 